In spite of her husband's two-month media storm across Los Angeles, New York and London, Meghan has been conspicuously absent from her husband's side. Now at first, people thought that Meghan was just giving Harry some space to promote the book, but as the controversy has gone on, rumors are now swirling that maybe there's something more to her bizarre absence. A source says. This is a woman who loves the camera especially when there is a chance to be photographed clutching her husband's hand spare was Harry's memoir in her media appearances, so it was expected that she would likely do the same for him. But instead, it seems like Meghan is distancing herself from the book which has been described by British royal commentator Julia Stand as an attack on King Charles and the Prince and Princess of Wales, does she have access to such things? That's unlikely, with a source speaking to The Telegraph and an insider speaking to Woman's Day saying it's clear Meghan doesn't want to be involved in promoting the book and wants her to let it go. It is raining. It seems that considering Harry was so upset last month he was walking his dog in the rain. So, December 7 in New York was the last time Meghan and Harry were seen together. And of course, they accepted this humanitarian award that day.it is baffling that they've been so publicly apart for 65 days. Given the book reveal was the biggest moment of Harry's professional life, says the source, it's unlike Meghan, not to be front and center and her friends think she's ABO. Some insiders are saying that Meghan is about to restart her lifestyle blog, the TIG, which of course she had to stop when she and Harry first got together. Harry had his book but she wants something that's all hers and the tag was her baby says the source. Meanwhile, apparently she's sick of being sidelined by senior royal so Harry's cousin is considering moving to the US after her cousin Harry's media cash Mananza in the US a newly pregnant princess, Eugenie of New York and her husband Jack Brooks Bank, are apparently planning an almost identical exit to the US. According to friends, Prince Andrews. Daughter has become disenchanted with the coverage of her family over the Jeffrey Epstein scandal, and she feels sidelined by the ever-narrowing group of senior royals. Now after she saw how the Sussexes reinvented themselves in the US she is wanting a piece of the action. According to Woman's Day magazine, Eugenie and Jack are working closely with Meghan and Harry's business team in California to try out some kin and charitable opportunities to make the most of their royal connections. Additionally, according to friends, Harry has been sending them details of homes in California, although apparently they've been a little put off by the price tag on properties near where Meghan and Harry live in Montecito. So now they're looking at Bel Air where their celebrity neighbors would include people like Jennifer Lopez and Jennifer Aniston and Jack don't feel they have any support left in the royal family in the UK since the Queen's death, Eugenie has always been a favorite of the Queen's. So he had a direct link to the top but the high status he once enjoyed no longer exists. Charles and William have made no secret of their desire to reduce the monarchy, which means the Yorks are increasingly on the sidelines. It doesn't help that Eugene and Jack are part of Harry's team lately. Senior members of the royal family seem to find this a little uncomfortable, the source says, and the source continues. E. e who of the rather expensive taste and has become accustomed to a glittering lifestyle is looking at Sussex mania in the U.S. and realizing that isn't going to last forever, there is a sense where Eugene that she must strike while the iron is hot. She and Harry believe there is a hunger for more royals in the U.S. and there's more than enough money swilling around in L.A. to furnish a British royal princess with a very healthy lifestyles. Instant status right there. But apparently this move of Eugene is not going to be very popular with the senior royals, they're worried that she may use her titles to benefit herself instead of the royal family, Eugenie is actively looking for opportunities to cash in on their royal status without bringing embarrassment to the family, she doesn't want to do a sit down with Oprah. But she's looking for big bucks to turn up to things to be the face of things to cozy up to brands and do appearances, the source goes on to say. That of course there will be conflict of interest concerns because they are idols. The problem is that they will face the same dilemma that Harry and Meghan faced. If they want to earn a lot of money, 
they should sell the soil to the kings. Will they be able to go where Harry and Meghan couldn't? This is a must-see and so is Sussex, apparently, Eugene is excited to set the world in order. In a recent interview, she claimed that Augustus is already an environmental activist, with expressions that remind U.S. of Harry and Meghan's private duet showing S. Virtue on climate change. Already in 2019, Eugene said at the World Economic Forum in Switzerland. My son has been active since he was two, which doesn't take a few days, so it's all for him. He also talked about the decline in private jet flights, the impact of climate change on Arctic ice and eliminating the use of plastic in his home. He also talks about human trafficking and modern slavery. Now, of course, Harry and Meghan still think people are interested in their one trick. The point is that people don't care what they say. His tricks are getting old and the pony is dying. It looks very tired and needs a thorough cleaning, so people are interested in seeing the whole crash and burn, it's a train wreck, something intervenes, a drama, an argument, an event, a sound, a silent dissonance, and we are tempted to move in its direction again. And we think it is right. Eventually this concession will collapse and then of course there will be a crash and fire. But every time Harry and Meghan somehow manage to get out of this prison, get into another car and go straight to the scene of the crime. They returned to plan another accident and discovered that they had a real talent for it. S. Meg and Harry find a way to contact Kay. They knew that if they performed these crashing and burning scenes in the middle, people would be staring at the magician and Harry would lose a bit of his dignity. In their own way, so they don't care if it gets their attention, as long as it makes money for them, that's enough for them. It looks like Meghan and Harry are now more than happy to warn people what not to do. They don't care if people all over the world laugh at them, as long as they make money. Now, I really learned a lot from both of them, just by watching how weird they are, they are weird that we can't make this stuff up. The stuff they do is just out of this world. I mean, the narcissism, the way they're so out of touch with the world the way that they have no self-awareness. It is an interesting case study. Is it not in you, what do you think of them? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section below and we can discuss Harry and Meghan in America too. If you find my videos helpful, don't forget to subscribe to Princess Diana's newsletter. Will there be new updates in the future? Thank you so much for watching, have a great day and we'll see you in the next video.